Hey guys and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. It is 11 o'clock at night. I started to look at my clock but my clock on my stove is never right. It's after 11 o'clock at night. Tomorrow we are going to have barbecue. And in order to have barbecue tomorrow I have to get my pork butt rubbed down with the rub. So we have to make our rub. So I'm going to have a little sip of Dr. Pepper so it can keep me going while we make the rub. Y'all, my cough seems to be getting better. It's not completely gone, but it's a lot better than it was. So I believe those steroids um, have done the trick. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is going to be a Lexington style barbecue. I kind of gave this speech the other day. All across the country, you have different kinds of barbecue. You have the the sweet, smoky barbecue from the Texas area. Other places, I think Kentucky has a specialty barbecue. Tennessee has a specialty barbecue. And then you have North Carolina barbecue. But even in North Carolina, you have different types of barbecue. The Eastern um, barbecue is different from the Piedmont, which is what I call Lexington style because we're here in the center of the state, and then the western is probably different as well. So, we are doing Lexington style barbecue, and that's basically with the sauce. The sauce has some vinegar in it, um, but we're working on the rub tonight. Um, so, we'll finish this up tomorrow, but tonight we're just working on the rub. So, I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm, and I've got a bowl over here in case I need to, um, and we'll call Brian in here to open up the pork when I get about done. I need a heap, whoop, a heaping tablespoon of paprika, so I'm just going to pour me out some, and I can, and let me, let me tell you, I'm actually, I'm not going to double this recipe, but I'm going to do a recipe and a half, so... Um, actually it looks like I'm doubling it. I guess I am doubling it. So we're going to do two tablespoons of paprika. Sorry. So the measurements I'm giving you on this is going to be doubled, but in the, in the description, I'll do just the, the, the one. I won't double it in the description. So this is a doubled recipe that I'm working on here. Um, we're going to do two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm going to kind of press those in. Alright, we're going to do two tablespoons of salt. And I'm just using regular old table salt. Alright, we are going to use three teaspoons, which is one tablespoon, of black pepper. So we're doing one tablespoon of black pepper. All right, now we're going to go to the dry mustard. We're going to do two teaspoons. And I just have a half here, so we'll do this four times. There's a half. One half and two. Oh, that was a little shy. Okay. Now we're going to go to the garlic powder and we're going to do two teaspoons of garlic powder. There's a half. There's one. Half and two. Two. 
All right, now it says a half to one teaspoon, so I'm going to double that, so I'm going to do um, one to two teaspoons, so I'm going to do one and a half of cayenne pepper, because I don't want it to be too hot. So we're going to do one and a half teaspoons. I'm not quite doubling the cayenne. There's a half. There's one. And there's a half. And guys, that is it for the rub. That is it. Now, Bryant, yeah. can you come in here and open the pork and put it back in that pan for me? I'll give him the gross job. And you can stir this up with a whisk, but I think the hand works probably better. What do you want me to do? You need to open it up and just put it back in that pan. Take the paper off of it. Okay. I'm just mixing this up good. I'm going to reserve some of this. I'm not going to put all of it on the um, pork. I'm going to put the majority of it, but we do keep some out for the sauce. This goes in my sauce as well. Oh, it's burning my nose. And I'm going to go ahead and get out. I'm going to go ahead and scoop out one three tablespoons for the sauce i may not use all of that but i, I want to reserve that Juice yes, please. It was juicy. What did you lay this out? Um, this morning or yesterday evening, I think. And we're just gonna sprinkle this all over it. And this is kind of the fatty side. And I should actually rub the other side first. Let me turn it over. Because I want the fatty side up. Well, I guess they're both fatty. Let's cut this off. That looks kind of gross. How far over? I mean, like, just, uh, just, that, just this, main, this thing right here. Okay, alright. Mm-hmm. About like so? Yeah. About like so? Yep. You don't have to cut it all off. Well, yeah. I got started. Might as well trim it up. All right. I'm just rubbing her down. Or him. It. It. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Flip her over. So what all you got in there? Paprika, mm -hmm. cayenne, brown sugar, salt, mm -hmm. pepper. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to wrap him up in tin foil in this pan. I know it's a him. Or her. Or yep. it. Yep. And we're going to Hey, I got a quick joke for y'all. Oh do no, he's breaking out the jokes, y'all. Do, do you know why the bacon laughs so hard? Why did the bacon laugh so hard? Because the chicken cracked the yolk. Oh, waka waka waka. Oh, waka 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 waka. All right. She, she likes it when I crack the yolks. Y'all. I got good yolks. Can you tell it's late at night around here? Hey, did y'all hear about the three-legged dog that walked into the bar? Right, no. 
He said, I'm looking for the man that shot my paw. <laughs> I just want to apologize. Do not hold this against the farming pastor's wife. Uh -huh. I cannot tell that my husband, I cannot help that my husband tells corny jokes. They're good jokes. Corny jokes. Good jokes. Oh, what are you dropping out of the fridge room? Butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay, y'all, so Mr. Piggy is going into the refrigerator and he will stay there till about 10 o'clock in the morning, at which time I'll put him in the oven. All right, Dad, this is your job to find a place for him. Okay, we'll be back in the morning and we'll, my hair won't look like this and um, I won't be dressed like this, but we'll be still working on this barbecue and hopefully he won't be telling any more crazy jokes. So y'all stay tuned, we still got a lot to do. I told you I would not look like I did last night, um, but actually I haven't even gotten ready for the day other than getting dressed. Um, I did not go to bed last night till one o'clock, and I think the reason is the doctor put me on, um, well he gave me a steroid shot in the office and then he put me on prednisone um, for five days, and yesterday was like day two or really day one full day <coughs> and I think uh, the prednisone had me going um, but I did not even clean up my mess from last night um, and I got this morning I was sitting there thinking about my roast my uh, pork butt and and my plan was what I've read and researched and and there's oh there is a wide variety of recipes out there and so I, this is the first time I'm doing this so I was like oh okay so I found one and it said cook at 300 for six hours I thought that's the one I'm going with and but this morning I just sat there thinking you know when they cook them in smokers and when they cook them in and I know it's a lower heat I know that um but but they just cook them longer so I got to researching some more and I found one that was at 250 for like eight to 10 hours. And so I thought, oh, I gotta get up and get this in the oven. So um, that's what I'm doing. Now, um, a lot, <laughs> my roasting pan is a turkey pan. Sorry guys. Um, a lot of them show those cookie sheets like I have and, and with the metal wire rack. I don't have one of those metal wire racks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have a wire rack that's a cookie cooling, but it's coated with like a rubber coating and I'm scared to put it in the oven. So I'm just using my turkey pan. This turkey pan, uh, I don't like it because the handles fall down and when they're hot, it's hard to pick them up. And so this will probably not be around much longer at my house. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to use it for this and we'll go from there. I just don't like it. So I've gotten, y'all, my refrigerator <laughs> smells so good. And then I didn't even started cooking. I can't wait to see what my house smells like. <coughs> Gracious. <clears throat> Yesterday I hardly coughed at all. I'm coughing a little bit this morning. Okay, guys, I'm going to just lift this up. And this one does have a bone in, so I had to allow for that, too. I, I did not realize that. And I'm just going to pour this goodness over it. All right. Let me get my hands a quick rinse. All right, y'all. And I have preheated my oven to 250. 
it's going in uncovered because I want it to form what they refer to as the bark. So we're going to put this in there and um, just as is. And then when it comes out, I'll cover it up really good and tight and let it rest. So, but it's going in a 250 degree oven. I'm going to check it at, I'll probably check it at six hours. I'll check it again at eight, but I want the internal temperature to be around 190 or 195. <clears throat> uh, a lot of your professionals will say 170. I am funny about my meat. I want to be sure it's done. Um, so um, the ideal, I think, to me would be 190, 195, around that area. So I'll be checking it with my thermometer. Um, and my thermometer, I hope I didn't leave it at the church. No, I have it. It's a digital thermometer. I use it for everything, even candy. Isn't that crazy? Because um, I don't have a candy thermometer. <coughs> I'm going to ask for a lot of cooking stuff for Christmas. So anyway, this is what I'll be using to check it with. So I've got to get this in so it can get to cooking so we're not eating at midnight. So it's going in 8 a.m. at 2.50. And we'll check it periodically throughout the day. And then we'll come back. And um, we'll come back in just a little bit and make the sauce. We'll make the slaw, and we'll make the hush puppies. That'll be later today. So y'all stay tuned. We got a lot to do, and I'll look better when I come back. Okay, guys, I am back. I did want to tell you, um, I don't know if I told you or not, but I put the um, pork in uncovered. I'm a little iffy on that, so we're going to wait and see. Um, but anyway, I have been cleaning the house today, and I have gotten up to the kitchen, and I need to clean the kitchen, but I want to go ahead and get, like, the sauce made. I want to go ahead and get my slaw made, because I'll fling cabbage everywhere, and, um, so I want to do all that first. So we're going to make the sauce right now. Um, so, I may be a little unorganized, but let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm putting it in... Last night when I made the rub, I told you, I first said we're going to do do one and a half times the recipe, but then I said, no, we're going to double it. But the barbecue sauce, we're going to do one and a half times the barbecue sauce. Um, and so I think that'll fill up more than a quart jar. So I went ahead and got one of my half gallons out. The recipe in the description will be just the basic one time recipe. It won't be doubled or one and a half times or anything. It's the basic recipe. Uh, but I am going to do one and a half times um, that recipe. So I'm going to be putting it in this half gallon jar. You could do this in a pot and heat it a little bit if you wanted to. But mine's going to sit all day. I'm going to have a lid on this so I can go shake it up, make sure everything's stirred. I, I don't think I need to heat this. So, I am going to start with hot water, though. I'm going to put um, three-fourths cup of hot water in, okay? Give me just a minute. Oh, spilling it. Good thing I'm going to clean. And good thing it's just water. All right, let me wipe this off. I made a mess, but it was just water. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my sugar in just so it can hit that warm water. Um, and I'm gonna put three tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm gonna do good, good size tablespoons. And I'm gonna pack them in there good and then I'm gonna add more. <laughs> so I'm not being shy with the brown sugar. So three tablespoons of brown sugar is going in mine. Now, like I said, the description will be different because I, uh, I'm making extra because I'm actually going to make some barbecue slaw and I will use some of this sauce in my barbecue slaw. Okay, so there's the brown sugar. Let me get a big spatula and we'll just kind of stir a little bit as we go. 
I'm not real, real prepared. Here's what I'm looking for. Okay. So let me just stir that up a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we're going to add apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to put three and a fourth cup of apple. So this, this sauce, North Carolina Lexington style sauce, is very vinegary. But I don't think it's as vinegary as the Eastern. And y'all, I'm just going to eyeball the fourth. Okay, that was three and a fourth. Let me, I forgot to get y'all turned down to see what I'm doing. I'm putting this in the jar. I'm going to give it a little stir. So, so far that was three-fourths cup of hot water. That was three tablespoons of brown sugar. And it was three and a fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. All right, now to the ketchup. We're going to put three-fourths cup. Where's my three-fourths cup? Here it is. Three-fourths cup of ketchup. Now, hot sauce, we are going to, and I use Texas Pete. I'm from North Carolina and I lived in the Winston-Salem area where Texas Pete is made. Um, so I'm loyal to my Texas Pete. <laughs> so we're gonna put one and a half tablespoons of hot sauce. And this may take a minute. I'm not going to take that lid off, though. All right, there's one tablespoon. And I'm just going to eyeball the half. All right, there we go. Let me get a napkin so I can wipe that out. Because I'm going to use that in some dry stuff in just a minute. And I don't like putting a wet measuring utensil in dry stuff. Okay, so there went our hot sauce. Now we need salt. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of salt. Now I'm going to put... This seems like a lot, I know. That won't fit in there, so let me get a little jar. Red pepper flakes. And I just use crushed red pepper flakes. And I'm gonna put uh let me think this through. The recipe calls for four teaspoons. Uh, I'm going to put almost two tablespoons of red pepper flakes. That makes me nervous, but oh well. All right. We're going to use two teaspoons of black pepper. And I only have a half measure, so I'm going to have to. Calls for two and a fourth, but I think I'm just going to use two teaspoons. So here's a half, one, half, two. 
I don't want to overpower everybody. We're going to give this a taste to make sure it's okay. Okay, now our rub that we made last night. I'm going to put some of this in here. I'm going to put two and a fourth tablespoon. So I'm just going to do two kind of heaping tablespoons or bountiful tablespoons. <laughs> All right, there's one that's a little bit heaping. And here's two that's a little bit heaping. That should be plenty. All right, that's it. That's our sauce, guys. All right, let's put the lid on this. <laughs> I'm being sure to get it on really good. And just for safety measures, I'm going to get a dish towel out. And we're shaking, 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 shaking. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to come throughout the day and just periodically give this a good shake. Y'all, this is it. This is our barbecue sauce. It looks really good. Let's give it a smell. That might have done a quart. Smells pretty good. <coughs> Gonna get a spoon. I'm nervous. We're gonna give it a taste. Woo! It's hot. I'm gonna add more ketchup. And it's really salty. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar too. Wow. I'm just gonna add a little bit more brown sugar. It's good, it is delicious. But it's got a bite to it, and I'm, I got it a little too salty. Let me get a clean spoon, and we'll taste it again, see what it needs. That's what you do. You just kind of taste and see, and then you doctor. I'm not sure how I can get rid of the heat. Um, but it is definitely way salty. That really helped it. I think I'm gonna do just a tad bit more brown sugar and I think I'm gonna add a little water because that may dilute the salt. A little bit more brown sugar and I'll do a little bit more water. I don't think it needs any more vinegar. I think I'm good on the vinegar. I'm really not sure what I'm adding to tell you the measurements. Just don't put as much salt as I did. And it may have been because I was like doubling the recipe and maybe I didn't do my mouth right. All right, let's dirty up one more spoon. I'm still gonna put a little bit more water. Let me go grab another spoon. Just my family eating here tonight. <laughs> so since it's just my family, I probably would stick my normal spoon back in, but since I've been coughing, I won't. Still salty. Still salty. But... I'm going to be putting it on something. It's not going to be like 
Um, it's not going to be... I'm wondering if I put the right amount. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit more water. I'm trying to dilute that salt, y'all. And I don't think the apple cider vinegar will do it. I just don't think that'll do it. I'm stopping here. I'm quitting doctoring at this point. Um, I've added probably a half a cup of brown sugar and probably, oh goodness, probably another half a cup of water, maybe, maybe a cup of water added. Um, I'm going to give you the recipe as I have it written down. Um, and then after you've made it, you taste it and you doctor it. It's delicious. It is absolutely delicious. The main thing is the salt. Way too much salt. So I would cut back on the salt. If, if it hadn't have been for the salt, I wouldn't be doctoring it at all. I mean, yeah, it was a little hot, a little spicy. But that's not the issue. The issue is the salt. Um, but since it's, it's, we're not going to be eating it straight. I'm running out of spoons. <laughs> going to use my little ladle. I believe that's it right there. I believe that's it. All right. And I'm sure that brown sugar is going to intensify. Probably. I hope. Um, but I think, I think the, I think the salt, I think the water has diluted the salt some. So, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Good stuff right there. All right, there's the sauce. And see, that's how you cook. That's how you cook. When you have a recipe, you taste it. Always taste your food. And if there's something missing, just add it. Or if you've got too much of something, dilute it. Or do what you've got to to get rid of it. <laughs> um, the spice, now that I've added everything, the spice is kind of dulled down. Um, I think it's perfect now. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what I added as far as I just started adding. I didn't measure. So I can't really give you my precise measurements that I did. I can just give you the recipe as I have it. And then you add and delete as needed. I didn't practice what I always preach. I always preach it's easier to go less and then add more if you need to than it is to take away. So just remember that. Like when you're fixing this recipe and you're adding the salt, maybe do half the salt and then taste it and see. Um, I have it perfect now. I think it's great. Um, and I've got plenty of it. Um, so once Isaac gets home, I'm going to have him taste it. And when Bryant gets home, we'll have him taste it. And I'm sure they'll say, well, it needs some more of this or it needs some more of that. And we'll add as needed at that point. But um, I think it's actually pretty doggone perfect. And remember, it's we're not going to be drinking that. We're going to be putting it over our pork barbecue. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to meld with that barbecue. Um, and uh, the only thing I was really worried about with the salt was putting it on the barbecue slaw. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see about that. And, um, so y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be making slaw. I'm gonna try to do the slaw on a separate video and the hush puppies on a separate video, but also include them in with the, um, uh, barbecue. But I want them to kind of have their own standalone video if I can get my mind wrapped around editing like that. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to make slaw next. Hey guys, today we're making slaw to go along with our pork barbecue sandwiches. I have a pork butt in the oven and so we're making slaw. So come on and join me. Okay guys, so here in the south, we have two kinds of slaw. 
Well, actually we have three kinds of slaw, but not everybody knows about the third kind. The two I'm gonna talk about today are um, coleslaw, which is your mayonnaise-based slaw and um, vinegar. And then the second one is barbecue slaw that people normally have with barbecue. Now my husband does not like barbecue slaw, even with his barbecue. He wants coleslaw, and which is the mayonnaise. Um, so I'm actually gonna make two things of slaw. So I have two heads of cabbage here that I'm gonna work with. And um, I'll briefly tell you about the third kind of slaw. There's this thing called Moravian slaw, which was uh, the Moravians founded, um, they settled here and uh, founded what we know as Old Salem. And, old, and Moravians is a religious community and belief, and they are Christians. And um, so um, they have a, a, a delicious slaw, and I'll have to make that for you sometime, but um, that's not what we're making today. So uh, what I'm going to show you down here, and I'm going to I'm going to make one head's going to be the barbecue slaw, the other head's going to be the coleslaw. So um, let me get you turned down here. And what I do is, I've already done it on this one for the most part. I have just taken off any blemish leaves that I see. And to make it easier for me, because I chop by hand, I chop a little bit at a time. And let me find my chopper. This is what I use to chop, chop my cabbage. So... I'm just going to slice off a little bit at a time and then I take this little bit and I cut it into as, you know, fairly small pieces before I even put it in my bowl to give my chopping a head start. Now I'm going to probably do two or three slices like this and then I'm just going to to give me a good start. I don't have the strength that my husband has. Hold on, I'll be back in just a second. Sorry guys, my phone rang. <laughs> That's what happens when you do everything with your phone. So, I've got, I, I'm going to continue doing that, but first, before I go any further, I want to chop this for a while. And I just come in here and I chop it, I twist, I chop, and it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a long while. So, and see, this is, I've got cabbage slinging everywhere. <laughs> so, I'm going to continue chopping, slicing, chopping, slicing, chopping. <laughs> and I'll bring you back when I get both heads chopped and in their uh, perspective bowls. Hey, guys. I got all my cabbage chopped up. This is going to be for the barbecue slaw. And I've just left in my chopping bowl the cabbage for our coleslaw. Um... For our barbecue slaw, I'm just going to incorporate the sauce that I made for our barbecue. Now, I'm going to try. If I can figure out how to leave one of those cards up there, I'm going to leave one somewhere. Um, I don't know, maybe down here, maybe up there. I don't know. I'm going to try to leave one to the barbecue video. This, this video is going to be in the barbecue video, but I'm going to do a separate slaw one. I'm going to kind of separate them. Um, or try, anyway. If not, just watch the barbecue one. You'll get the slaw. <laughs> so, um, I'm just incorporating this sauce. If you do not have a recipe for sauce and you just you don't want to make the sauce, you just want to do a quick, easy barbecue slaw, you're going to add equal parts of ketchup and vinegar. And, um, and then you can season it with whatever you want. Black pepper, red pepper, um, salt. You can just season it up the way you want to. But because everything is in my barbecue slaw, I'm just going to use, I mean sauce, I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to dip out a little bit at a time because I'm not sure how much it's going to take. Um, this is a third cup right here. And then I may, if it's a little strong, I may just add some ketchup. Let me get a spoon or a spatula over here. I'm 
And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to add just a little bit of ketchup on its own because I don't want necessarily all the heat that was in my sauce to be in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup. Woo! That sprayed me. I'm going to add just a little bit of ketchup. <clears throat> and this is another one of those items that you just taste and see. You just kind of go at it and taste and see. And if, if I've added too much ketchup, I may just add some apple cider vinegar. It looks like the right color. And the only thing I wish is I'd have got my cabbage a little finer, but that's okay. Let me get a, I'm gonna get a fork. I got a plastic fork over here. I'm gonna bring several because <laughs> I know I'll need them to taste. All right, let's taste this. Mmm. That's good. I, it's got a little bit of that heat. Um. I don't really know how to tone that down, but I believe that's pretty good. Let me add just another score to ketchup. Maybe the sweetness from the ketchup will tone down that heat just a little bit. I did make my sauce a little too salty and a little too hot. So I may not put much on our barbecue and just let people um, add as they want. But taste this again. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Like I said, it's got a little bit of a little bit too much heat for me than for my liking. But my kids are gonna love it. Bryant probably not so much. So alright, I'm just gonna clean up the edges here. Put the lid on it. Put the lid back on my sauce. And then we'll get ready to fix the coleslaw. Okay guys, so now on to the coleslaw. This is your mayonnaise, your vinegar, sugar based um, slaw. I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar, but you can use red wine vinegar, you could uh, white wine, I mean white vinegar, whatever kind of vinegar you want to use. Um, I'm gonna take it fairly easy on the slaw to begin with, but um, now, I, as you can see, I don't put, um, and I just mix mine up. A lot of people make the dressing and then pour it over the, over the slaw. I don't do that. I mean, I think that's great. I've just never done it that way. This is the way I've always done it. Um, I probably need to try it that way and see if it mixes better, but I just mix it like this. I don't like mine real heavy with mayonnaise. Um... I like mine a little bit lighter with the mayonnaise. Um, I'm going to add just a tad bit more. And you just add this to your liking. I'm assuming I have added probably um, a little over half a cup maybe. But this is a lot of cabbage. I don't normally fix this much slaw. So I just do it to the look. I just make sure each piece of cabbage has got a light coating of Ah, mayonnaise on it. Now, as you can see, I don't put carrots in here. Um, not because I don't like carrots or, or whatever. Um, I just think this is just as good without them. To me, the carrots are just for looks. Um, I can't really tell a taste difference, per se. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit of a texture difference. I'm going to add two cupful, I mean, two capfuls of the vinegar. I'm also going to add 
black pepper. I think I don't think you can have coleslaw without black pepper. And this is hard to come out. Come out, come out, come out. Okay, well, let's take the lid off. Probably is going to need some more. Now I'm going to add sugar. And I don't, um, let's see, let me, let me measure it for you so I can tell you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm probably starting with an eighth of a cup. This is a fourth of a cup measure and I did about um, half of that. And I'm actually not going to put it all. I'm going to save just a little bit. This is one of those things that I think the longer it sits, the sweeter it gets. Now that I've started up, I, I'm going on in with it. I can add a little more vinegar if I need to. Now, this is where you're probably going to think I'm absolutely crazy and I've lost my mind. But, I give my coleslaw a splash of milk. Just a little bit of splash. Kind of to loosen up the, the mayonnaise dressing. Um, to help dissolve the sugar. It just gives it a little bit more of a moist consistency. And it will set back up a little bit once I get it in the refrigerator. But this slaw is one of those hard things to give you measurements because you never know how much cabbage you're going to chop up. And you just have to go with it by look. So let's do a taste. Hmm. Let me do another taste. <laughs> I'm going to add just a tad bit more mayonnaise and a tad bit more sugar. Just a tad bit of both. And I think I might actually add another little splash of vinegar too. Kind of a little bit of everything except milk. I'm not going to add any more milk. All right, guys, and then the longer this sits in the refrigerator, oh my goodness, the better it's going to get. So good. Let's see, I got one more fork here. Let's give it a taste now. Mmm, perfect. You can add salt to this if you want. I don't usually add salt to mine. I think Bryant comes in behind me and adds salt. <laughs> But believe it or not, as much as I love salt, this is one thing I don't add much salt to. Alright guys, there you go. I'm going to wrap this up, get it in the refrigerator. Mmm. So good. I don't know which I'm going to put on my sandwich. I know what I'll do. I'll have two sandwiches. Put barbecue on one and coleslaw on the other. But... So stay tuned. We still got to get the pork out. Make sure it's at the right temperature. Shred it up and make our sandwiches. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. All right. Our barbecue is out and Isaac is starting to, he's pulling that fatty area off the bark. The bark. He likes the bark. Him and Jessica have washed their hands up good and they are going to Start pulling. And you can pull it with two forks or he just prefers doing it with fingers. And then we'll add some sauce in there in just a little bit. Jessica's like, I don't know if I want to go in or not. Yeah, I'm not really <laughs> sure where to start up. Here, 
Here, I'm gonna taste it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna taste it. I'm so excited. Y'all, it's really good. It's really good. We don't have the sauce on it yet, but it was really good. Is it still hot? Yeah. So, we're gonna let them pull. We'll come back and um, see if we're gonna serve the sauce on the side or if we're gonna add it or what. So, how is it? Mm -hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, y'all, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, there is the barbecue. There is our coleslaw, our hush puppies, and our barbecue slaw. And so Bryant is going to, he's already given me his opinion, but I want him to give you yours. There's our sauce he's pouring on. Right, sauce no, on I mean, I want him to give his opinion to you guys. Sorry. All right. My favorite, look, that white slaw, that's my favorite. That right coleslaw. Mm -hmm. that, that is to die for. I don't like the barbecue slaw. I like the white slaw. All right, here you go. I, I'm, and it's not just my barbecue slaw he don't like. He don't ever like it. Nobody's barbecue. Like, I'm doing a, a low-carb little barbecue tray here because uh, you guys know my sugar is a little high, so I'm doing it without the bun, but I'm not going to do it without the hush puppy. So here we go, a little shredded barbecue right here. That is restaurant good right there. Oh, y'all, I got the restaurant good. She nailed, she nailed it on this one, everybody. And Caroline's dipping out of the pan. It's just family. What yeah. do you think it is? I think it's good. You gotta try that. That, try. Love. that Boston like butt right there. Wasn't it a Boston butt? It was a pork butt. Hey, you don't even it was uh, it was on sale for like nine bucks. So we got probably twelve bucks in this whole meal or something. <coughs> yep. Really good. And that sauce turned out great, y'all. We thought it was gonna be too salty, but I doctored it up just perfectly. Oh, look at that. It's good. It turned out great. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Jessica's with us tonight, and there's Isaac. He's home from school, home from college. and he pulled my look he at, pulled the pork for look, us. Look at that new hat. Him and Jessica both. Yeah, let's see your hat. Come your See the tobacco leaves in North Carolina. It came from what's the name of it? Uh, Valley. No, something Outfitters, something down East Outfitters, in Low Country. Low Country Outfitters. Low Country Outfitters. Country All right, y'all. From the farm and pastor's wife family to yours, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And you can even burn a few hush puppies. They're still good. Oops. And Jessica said they're still good, even though they're burnt. <laughs> y'all have a great night. Love y'all. Bye, Judah. Still bye. So bye. Bye. <laughs> He's not having it. <laughs> bye, y'all.